All right, howdy boyos, and welcome back to War Thunder, a sentence I probably haven't said in a very long time. And uh, to be honest with you, every time I I launch this game and I sit in the menu for a little bit because I'm like, you know, reminiscing or just looking at the game, I listen to the background music and I'm thrown back years not just months but years and i actually clicked on my profile and uh some really cool thing popped up into like the title screen or whatever so you have all these titles here you know like oh yeah you've achieved uh, owning a like british tier 5 vehicle or you have like joined the game in 2014 i was like oh that's cool so i looked through mine and i have the old guard which means and I recall this, I started playing this game, uh, I think, April 1st, 2013. And it's really cool that they put these titles in because it kind of shows you, like, how long you've been in a game. Like, this is, for example, 2016, we got uh, 2015, we got 2014, and then you have 2013. And I've been looking around, and I've not seen a lot of people with this tag. It just makes me realize how long this game has existed and uh how long i've been playing the game or well i've taken some long breaks from the game um i don't want to get into that anyway today's video is going to be an interesting one i hope uh necessarily i actually really hope to be interesting um so i have some ideas for war thunder i obviously the italian planes as a sub faction like an as an actual faction Italy was released with the initial fighters and uh, some medium bombers and attackers, I think, right here. If I'm not wrong, yeah, attacker right there. Um, and honestly, I I have an idea where I'm going to make a video or two, uh, probably a month, where I just play them. But most of the other times, I'll be streaming myself playing War Thunder. Now, I don't want to jump into War Thunder, and it's not going to take over my channel, but... I really want to kind of get just get back into War Thunder, and I think the best way of getting back into War Thunder, as I said it in my very, very, very first video three years ago or something, uh, War, I could not really speak English. I mean, I'm still having issues sometimes, but I, I definitely learned how to pronounce War Thunder and not War Thunder, uh, which Fly Daily always made fun of me for saying War Thunder, and uh, I don't know, that, that, that was pretty funny. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say here, without rattling on for the next five minutes, I'm sorry for longer intro, I just always get like kind of emotional almost, like, watching the screen and listening to the music, is I'm going to be playing War Thunder. I plan on playing it once or twice a month as a video on YouTube, um, but definitely going to be streaming it. No set times. I'm going to be less busy. I'm going to do some stuff, and I just want to I just want to stream. I Not on Twitch, like, I, I don't like Twitch that much. Don't get offended, but I'm going to be streaming on YouTube. It's probably like an hour, an hour and a half at the time, just, you know, to get some games in. Uh, invite some of you guys, uh, invite some of my friends, and you try and rotate as many people through like five or six battles and then call it a stream. It'll do five or six RBs, call it a stream, get some of you guys in the squad, play some rounds. Boom, done. A, a great way for you to play and get around with me. A great way for me to fill up my squad with some more, hopefully, competent or at least listening teammates. Um, and also a good way for me, I guess, to kind of get back into War Thunder and, um, and I'll play the game again. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, I played, <laughs> don't look at this, this is cancer, don't look at this please, I'm offend. I'm almost embarrassed that this is the play and I was in my selection. So I played the A5 a couple days ago and uh, I got a turn by like a P47, I don't know, I... It's probably, oh yeah, but, you know, I changed the system, and rah, 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 now the fuck, fuck wolf sucks dick, it's the fucker wolf, whatever. Anyhow, um, I've been enjoying the game again, even though I got horribly wrecked in the two times that I played my fuck wolf. I'm actually really excited to play uh, with the Italians, because I've been actually asking for them to be a separate faction for such a long time, as well as the French, and I'm pretty sure there's more nations that deserve their own, like, tech tree. Uh, in War Thunder, like, you know, the Italians have right now. Anyway, with that being said, let's jump into a battle or two, and then I will definitely be uh, streaming some War Thunder, going through grinding. I have 50,000 gold, but I'm going to not use a single gold. I'm going to try and see how far I'll get in this tree. 
Um, I'm actually really excited to play the 202 again. I do, of course, know it's in the German tech tree, but this plane is actually one of my favorites. It used to be one of my favorite planes in the game for a long time playing RB. Anyway, with that being said, let's jump into some battles. Here we go. All right, so we are not playing any of the reserve planes. Well, I have played them. I just haven't done that good with them where I felt like it was worth the video. So I failed my way through about, I don't know, 10-ish games of the initial um, reserve planes. And I actually unlocked the CR-42. Now, I'm not saying that's a big upgrade. I think it's actually a bad thing, considering reserves, I think, are a 1.0, and the CF-42 is a 1.3 battle rating plane. So, I went from having a biplane at 1.0 to having a biplane at 1.3. There's not, like, more guns. I don't think it has, like, a lot more airspeed or maneuverability. Uh, if anything, I think going to the 1.3 Falco is probably a bad idea, uh, especially considering I am... What the There's one single bomber down here, and everyone and their fucking mom is like going after him. This guy's wasting. What the heck is that plane even? He's wasting all of his ammo. It's a B-49. I'm wasting all of his ammo on a single bomber, and I'm gonna be out here probably getting destroyed by like four gladiators. Like, this, that's what's been happening. I've been jumping into a game. Oh, he actually. Oh my god, he actually shot that 109 down. Right? I've been jumping into games, and either being team killed, being rammed by friendlies or by enemies, uh, coming up against lag threes, which I'm not calling Russian bias, but it really sucks when you are, ooh, this is getting kind of close, it really sucks when you're a uh, battle, like, battle rating 1.3 plane, um, and you come up against a 2.0 plane, which is fine, but that thing has a 20 mil and it's going to just shrek your butthole open, it's really frustrating. Um, so, so far, I've not gotten a single kill in my Italian planes. If anything, it's actually been pretty frustrating uh, playing them. Uh, so I'm glad I'm not streaming this part, because I would be probably a vault of Fort Worth under and said, hey, let's stream next time, because I'm not feeling it anymore. So we got Hurricanes, Sunderland. That's a pretty big plane, I think. Let's not fuck with that. More Hurricanes. If I'm completely ignored as a plane right there. If I'm completely ignored for a while, totally fine with me. I really don't want to fight a hurricane. I've got two machine guns with 800 rounds. They have eight machine guns with like 1800 something rounds. So uh, the only thing I have over them is that I'm a little biplane and they're a monoplane. So if they start turn fighting with me, I probably have a good chance of winning. But then again, I doubt anyone's gonna start turn fighting a biplane. To be fair, it seems like we are in the clear. No one is really going after me. I have not gotten any unnecessary or unwanted attention. Not unnecessary, but unwanted attention. Uh, looking at the Nimrod right there. That's the only plane I can see right now that I would be... I a Gladiator. Although the Gladiator has twin, twice my machine guns. Uh, but I guess I feel kind of confident going up against a Nimrod, but he's seven and a half kilometers away. These Hurricanes, not really something I want to fuck with. Are these perks or AA guns under these vehicles? Hurricanes, really not something I want to mess with. Although, if someone, if one of these guys presents themselves to me, I mean, I'm flying towards them. So, if one of them presents themselves to me, I'll definitely try and have a go at them. But I really doubt I'll be able to do much damage with just two 7.7s. Um, and I think the Japanese 7.7s and the Italian 7.7s, to me anyway, were always known as pea shooters or just even worse. They were no known as literally just absolute dog shit. Now we have a we have a hurricane here. Uh, just gotta get behind them. And now I gotta obviously try and replay War Thunder again because I've not played in such a long time. I'm not even hitting this guy. Oh my no! Okay, okay, we got a first kill. We almost got rammed, but we're alive. If we can get a second hurricane, I will go insane, especially considering I missed all my shots. Uh, to be fair, I've not played War Thunder in such a long time, and uh, I'm sitting here with, like, the weirdest smile, because there's something in War Thunder, like, oh, that's bad. Whew. It took him less than two shots to bring me down to an orange plane. 
Oh no, I've lost control. Come on! Oh my god, they should have given this guy more spaghetti in his rations because he is losing control of the controls. Losing control of the controls. Come on, 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 just do, do a thing, do a thing. We hit him, we hit him. Alright, I am not, this is so weird to me. I, I should need to remap my controls a little bit, I guess. We fucking got a second kill. This might actually be the first one where I do not do horribly bad. So we got two kills. We still have over half our ammo. Uh, considering I think I started with 800 rounds, I still have 459. Uh, getting two kills because, like I said, I kind of jumped on the back of these guys. They weren't really paying attention. Uh, they almost bombed at our bases, though. Oh, no, never mind. There's two more bases left. We're fine. Hurricane, hurricane. It's time for me to dive down and see if we can get a triple kill. I would be very okay with killing three Hurricanes. Like I said, I failed my way to the CR-42, so please, War Thunder Gods, give me the strength, give me some RNG, and allow me to kill at least one more. I'd be perfectly happy with killing three Hurricanes in my first, well, not my first flyout, but this is the second time I'm flying the Falco, the Falco as I've only been playing the Reserves and I've been doing not abandoned them, but like I didn't get a shot at actually really playing them because I would just get horribly wrecked. Like I said, I got rammed, team killed, uh, or I would just go up against planes that I couldn't really fight. With. So that guy just died. This guy is not presenting a perfect target for me. And we got a third fucking kill. Now there is a TBD. I know he is a rear gunner. I know he also has a front machine gun, I think. Ah, you prick! He's on fire, he's on fire. He's on, we actually set a fourth plane. No, 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 come on, come on. What's happening? What's, why is, oh shit, I shouldn't have done a head on. I did set him on fire for about half a second. We got a fourth kill, jeez, fuck, what the fuck? Okay, so I guess I should take back everything I said. I just had a horrible, for once I got my engine cut out and I stopped talking because I thought I heard the engine cut out there or I didn't hear the engine anymore, but we just destroyed four planes in a row. Now my engine is going to give out. I am really low in this like valley, and I'm I'm an engaging whip, and I'm not sure if I can keep my plane afloat. But I will definitely take home. Fuck it. We're gonna just have to. Oh, my engine's overheating. We're gonna have to glide our way home. We're not that far from it though. I think my engine is is dying. Yeah. This is uh, kind of the end of the Italian Air Force. I'm perfectly fine with killing three Hurricanes. Okay, I'm gonna need you to go. Maybe you can, you can drive home? I don't think we can. This might be the end of the road. Let's turn it to 0%. And break, 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 break. Maybe we can turn it around and like go for a landing or a takeoff in the other direction. No! Oh my god, okay, me yelling no definitely helped. Okay, so we landed. We're... Oh. Okay, we're kind of far from base. What? Let's let our engine cool down. Uh, so let's get it to 200 degrees. Um, and then... Um, probably try another takeoff. Maybe it happened. Maybe we can make it work. So, <sighs> I cannot believe I actually got four kills. I was insanely happy with the with the kill on the hurricane initially. Although I do need to set up a uh, gunner camera control. I need to set up this because I have Z for zoom in and right mouse button for like. Uh, zoom in or for follow, but it needs to be the other way around. I want Z for follow, Z for follow, Z or Z for follow, and I want um, where is the mouse aid? Maybe no. I mean, we're waiting for my plane to cool down anyway. Hopefully, no one sees me. I'm pretty sure I'm in a really stupid position. Where no one will really come and find me. Tracking camera. This needs to be Z. Zoom camera. Replace. 
no delete Z and then I need to find zoom where would you find zoom oh, you need to be turned off I'm pretty sure right no you need to be turned on um, Oh, this is all wrong buttons. Additional zoom, 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 zoom. I might have to look for that in a second. Let's just. Well, where? I wish it would actually show me. Like it says, okay, you've not followed, you've not put in an option for, for zoom, and it should just tell you where, the zoom button is. You know what? We'll find that back. Let's try and take off. We're at 188. My left wing is totally fucking black. It's got a couple of big holes in it. Surprisingly, because that hurricane... Well, okay, I'm not lying. The hurricane destroyed me in about half a second, but the head-on with the um, TBD, I think it was, that really fucked with me. I'm pretty sure to beat the, the TBD or beat the TBD... Ha oh, this might be bad. Oh! <gasps> Did we use it as a ramp? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Okay, well, I don't think we're getting off this ground anymore anytime soon. Uh, but the, it, the, the TBD that I went head on with has a 50 cal. I think... Okay, well, I'm dead. <laughs> the TBD has one 50 cal, I think, in the front. So we didn't do that bad considering we killed four of them. We killed three fighters and a bomber. Kind of shouldn't have really done head on with that TBD, but I'll take four kills. So, what we'll do, I'm gonna reset my settings and jump out into another round. Alright, so obviously that Falco round was actually very good, and um, with the premium account, it gave me so much experience. Um, besides the fact that I already was trying to research the, I think it's a C200. So we're trying to research to C200. Um, so with the research from that particular game, and obviously, uh, you know, what I already was researching before a little bit. Oh, please don't, don't kill me. Uh, I managed to... What the fuck? Hurricanes? What is this? Italians and... Oh, it's mixed teams. Wow, great. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I really hate that shit as a like, realistic historical person. Uh, anyway... My first Italian monoplane. Now, of course, I played the MC202 and played the G50 and the C200 already uh, in the German tech tree where they were, you know, before for a very long time. This plane also looks really fucking weird. Um, but I think, you know, this is my first... Oh, shit, the guy's got lots of stuff. This is my first, like, Italian real tech tree plane. That's a monoplane. Um, and there's just something that makes me feel a lot more confident when I'm playing these. I feel like they're... I mean, obviously there's a lot of reasons why they're better, but I just feel a lot more confident when I'm playing these. Also, I switched my buttons around. My Z button is now my track button, although I personally feel that, that should be Alt and not Z. Uh, so I might change that again, because it used to be Alt for me all the time. And my right mouse button is now my Zoom button, which is a lot more easy for me, and probably something a bit laggy. Something I'm definitely going to probably keep on using. Um, so we lost, I think, 60 rounds in the MG, upgrading from the C-42 to the C-200. Um, but the fact that you get a monoplane and it's quicker... Like, look at the speed! Like, I'm doing a 15 degree climb and I'm gaining speed. Uh, and I also feel like they're a lot less fucky, like biplanes. I just feel like they're bigger targets. Whether that's true or not, it just I just feel like they're bigger targets. And it's a lot more fun, in my opinion, to play a monoplane. Um, I mean, obviously, your mileage might vary. I just love monoplanes. And in F1M, people are flying those? I mean, someone has to, of course. But that's... Whew, I kind of feel bad. I kind of don't want to kill that person. Although, at the same time, I kind of want to. Um, so this is... So there's one more plane I need to unlock. Now, right now I'm going for one of, the, one of the G50s. If I get the G50, I'll be able to go to the MC202, and then after that comes a 3.3 .3 battle rating plane, I think, uh, which I'm pretty excited for. Like I said, that's the one with the twin MG151 20 mils, which are my favorite plane mills in the game. They sound beast, they destroy shit, and... Well, the fact that they're German doesn't definitely doesn't hurt. 
Now, I'm not going to go with an H6K. I'm not going to go after that I-15 or I-16 and all that stuff back there, because that's just suicide. Um, there is, however, an H-11 and a BB-1 down here, but there's already people diving on those. I really don't want to waste my energy. Let's uh, go towards this uh, way, and that's one I-15. I kind of want to go for that by myself, considering he's a biplane. An I-15, I-16, and there was a... Um, there was another plane over there. I lost it. I think it was it a MiG-3? Is he still alive? I don't I don't remember looking at him. The H6K can go fuck itself. I know that has a single 20 mil on the back, and that has cost me my life way too many times. <laughs> I'll be honest about that one. I have fallen for that way too many times, thinking, hey, it's a free kill. And then you forget about a 20 mil, and then you're three hits, and you're like, shit. And then you're dead. So we got the I-15, the I-16, and the F-1M. The F-1M will be a free kill. So I kind of want to go for that and be a massive bitch. I think the F-1M is like the OS-2U Kingfisher. It's got the like 7.7 .7 turret and it's got one 7.7 .7 in the uh, front gunner position. It's not gonna do anything to me. Let's uh, let's see if we can make this work. I really need to put this on the, on the alt key. There we go. He's down. One kill. There's an I-16. Ooh, okay. This guy, uh, playing a smart game, saw me diving after the F-1M, thought I was going to be preoccupied with it for too long, and is obviously trying... was obviously trying to get behind me. I was actually watching the map for a second there, and he got kind of close, but now he's all out of speed. Granted, so am I. Uh, maybe he's coming up to me, actually. Okay, he is. He is. He is. I wish his hurricane was paying attention. Okay, we set him on fire. That's all I care about. I'm pretty sure his hurricane will probably try and kill Steel. Then again, uh, let's make sure it is actually dead because he just stopped smoking, so I can no longer bitch about kill stealing. My aim was horrible. I think we shut the pilot out. I think we did. So we got two kills into our name. The F1M wasn't really a hard kill. There's only one other guy alive, which I am 99% sure is let me they really clean my screen holy shit i see so many black dot tags right there right there in the in between the two circles you can see him uh wow i have good eyes for playing work in a very long time but yeah that's the h6k i still have over half my ammo left these guys are not going to do anything this game isn't going to end otherwise so i might as well try and make my way over there try and get a, a, a at least a strafe one into him with the two machine guns that i have because i think um, I went, that's the only good thing, I guess, from going from the Falco to this one, is the fact that you go from, uh, to 7.7. Oh, the Falco doesn't have 50 cals. Hmm. I know, I... I think the Falco had 7.7, .7, but I'm saying it like this because I'm not 100% sure if it does. Also, was I wrong saying that that was the plane back there? I might have been wrong. Okay, well, this plane is landing. The AA is fucking me up. I'm leaking fuel and oil and everything. I'm getting shot to shit. We might as well try and get this H6K. Look, worst case scenario, we're just gonna ram it. Because we're dickheads and it counts to kill my Alright, never mind, we're dead because the AA shot me. So I guess six kills in two games, not too bad. Um, this isn't meant to be like a five hour video anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say goodbye for now. And then I hope you guys enjoyed this idea of me streaming War Thunder, grinding through the Italian planes um, in the near future. So like I said, keep an eye on the channel. I'll be live randomly, probably for about an hour, throwing some invites out to people that want to be invited. We'll play some low tier Italian planes and try and just grind my way through them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cheers.